Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. This is Outer Space 2, tape delay and a reverb, spring reverb, uh, by Audio Thing. So people have been looking forward to this one for ages. I'm going to take you through the whole thing uh, step by step so you know what's going on. Well, I'll try it with this little piece of music there this that little loop some we'll put it on some drums and i've got it on synth master here let me just um close this i've got it on synth master and the preset is key lush fm piano in case you're interested okay so let's uh start by switching it on so okay so you have three heads and a reverb and then a mode selector. So the original unit, you know, the original hardware unit had the same kind of thing, but this allows you to sync up the heads as well as have them free running. So for example, head one here, we have a volume for head one. This is the intensity, so the feedback. Be careful here because it will Self oscillate. One seven five is the slowest that head one can go. Sixty, and then you have the synced version, so one sixty four, and then a list of whatever you like in between. Then we have wet only, so you're only going to hear the reverb, uh, the delay, sorry. You can switch the echo send off. Input, output, oversampling up to 16. But your CPU will take a hit. So you can have the off or on or whatever you like. So you have panning for each head. Okay. Wow on flutter. If we increase the intensity a little bit. Echo volume. Then you have noise. It's like some head machine noise, right? You can control the tone. The amount. And if you have envelopes switched on, you're only going to get that, get that noise when it receives a transient. Oh, here's a signal. Okay, cool beans. You know about the sync in the heads. You can't automatically switch on a head whenever you like. The hardware wouldn't allow you to do that. But this is what the mode selector is for. But let's just look, you have a preamp. Then you have soft clipping. This is all, this is not for the incoming signal. This is all for the process signal. We have a high Q switch. Now this EQ to reverb, what that will do is all it does is sends this EQ to the reverb so you don't have to have it switched on. So although this looks like this is the reverb section, only this here where it says decay type and reverb actually refers to the reverb. The bass and treble refer to the actual delay. So for example, But 
But on a delay preset, on a reverb preset, sorry, we can also choose to enable the EQ with this EQ to reverb button here. This will sum everything to mono if you're wearing headphones. Switch stereo off, of course. And now, and then extra stereo. And then you have a delay. This touch and drop is literally touch. It's like if you put your finger on a tape or drop it out. And then you have age types, RT, new and old. So you can set them as you like. You also have high cut and low cut for the tape. So you can, and drops. And pre-emphasis. This is for the motor. So this is really cool. You, you've got variable speed here. And you also have rate ballistic. With the mode selector now, if we change mode, you watch down here. Now we're on head two and the slowest is 340. Fastest is that, and then head three. Slowest is 500 milliseconds, or if you like two bars. And then number four is a mixture of two and three, which is cool because then you can go like, well, I'll pan this one this way, this one this way. Then we have this one. Now this one, once we go into this reverb and echo, number five is now bringing in the reverb as well as this first head. So if we actually, you're just hearing the reverb now. Like I said, if you play with the treble or the bass, the EQ, you'll hear no difference on the reverb unless you send the EQ to the reverb and then the reverb will also, the EQ will also affect the reverb and the delay. Okay, let's send the echo back on. Mode six is this one and the reverb. Mode seven, third head. Mode eight is first two heads and the reverb. Mode nine, second two heads, reverb. Mode ten, first and third head and the reverb. But don't forget the cool thing is with this, you can actually have it all synced together so we could go. Yeah. <laughs> Number 
Number 11 is All Three Heads and the Reverb. Now an important one is the repeat rate. You can adjust these like I've shown you, kind of just by going in here and adjusting each one. But this repeat rate now will affect all of these together at the same time. And of course it will be dependent on whether it's synced or it's free running in kilohertz. And then you can still make adjustments to just one head there. Right, okay, so that's the controls. Um, and, you, and you can see it's self-explanatory, head one, pan left, et cetera, et cetera. And then the volume for each of those heads. Uh, you can, of course, randomize. You can choose to lock certain parameters here. So if you do randomize, those will not change. We could go in here and just go unlock all parameters, etc., etc. Right, okay. We'll close this one. We'll switch it off. Close it down and check it out on this synth brass. So switch it on. And I'll run a few presets for you. So tons of control. 
So to finish off, let's close this. Let's just use that like that. So you can get it's it's great for dub dub tech no anything like that uh, ambient stuff you know it's not sync so we'll sync it up if you're going to use it with drums or sequences probably a good idea to have it synced up I think you'll agree it's just awesome it sounds great i love vintage reverbs and this really nails it it nails it for a couple of reasons it will let you do what the original hardware did but it will also give you a load of more stuff you can play around with of course you can say presets couldn't do that in the hardware right the really cool thing is that is that you can just sync up the heads that's really useful for especially for dub delays because it's tricky you know to get them perfect if you're just using them free running. I mean, because you can do it. You can automate it, all this stuff, obviously. But it's really nice. Anyway, there you go. Outer Space 2. And if I think if I'm correct, this will be released on Christmas Day. So you'll probably either be watching this on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Uh, so Merry Christmas to you all. Anyway, brilliant. Top job. Cool beans. I'll see you later. Ta-da.